It is bloom season for private players in the space industry as they are aiming for the moon. And Japan is the latest to join the bandwagon. A Tokyo-based startup called iSpace launched a spacecraft to the moon on Sunday after several delays, a step towards what will be a first for the nation and for a private company. iSpace's Hakuto R mission took off without incident from Cape Canaveral, Florida, after two postponements caused by inspections of its SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The iSpace rocket is transporting United Arab Emirates' first rover to the moon, along with NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory's lunar flashlight. NASA's flashlight aims to search for water deposits in permanently shadowed regions near the moon's south pole. iSpace lander will be delivered to the moon's orbit by the rocket. The lander is aiming for Atlas Crater in the northeast section of moon's near side. This mission, if successful, will be a huge milestone for a private company to achieve in a highly competitive sector. Earlier on, the national agencies of United States, Russia and China have achieved soft landings on the Earth's nearest neighbor. The M1 lander will deploy two robotic rovers along with a four-wheeled explorer made by the United Arab Emirates. iSpace's Hakuto R mission will nearly take five months to deliver the lander and other experiments to the moon. The name Hakuto comes from a white rabbit that lives on the moon in Japanese folklore. According to Emirates Lunar Mission Manager, UAE's Rashid Lunar Rover will remain on the moon even after the requisite data has been collected. With a radio science satellite around the Mars, UAE aims to explore the Earth's natural satellite too. The rocket will take slow energy path to the moon, flying for about a million miles from Earth before it loops back and intersects with the moon by the end of April. Tokyo-based iSpace has signed a contract with NASA to ferry payloads to the moon beginning 2025 and is aiming to build a permanently staffed lunar colony by the year 2040. Right hand screen, the fairing has... We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.